Takaday continues looking through the foot thick pile of paper that is the state police report on the Roy Schmidt fake candidate case. Among the text messages between Schmidt and Speaker of the House Jace Bolger is an interesting reference to Grand Rapids City Hall. 24 News 8's Joe LaFergie joins us in the studio, Joe. Well, that text we discover going through the stack of reports compiled by state police brings up the question, did Roy Schmidt see his political future moving back to where it all began, Grand Rapids City Hall? The state police report on Roy Schmidt's efforts to recruit a candidate to run against him does provide some clues as to why he got into this mess. He said, for basically fundraising reasons, because if I don't have somebody to run against, then I don't have my fundraisers, I won't have the money to you know, pay, pay people, I don't have the money for fundraising. Conventional wisdom would have it as this fall's race for the 76th House seat. But what about down the road? If he wins in the fall, Schmidt's term limited in the House. Could one clue to his political future be in this text from Speaker of the House Jace Bolger? Quoting here, what I may love best is that Brewer wasn't going to help you for mayor. Now you don't need him, end quote. The reference from Bolger that state Democratic Party chair Mark Brewer wouldn't help Schmidt in a run for Grand Rapids mayor. A spokesman for Brewer wouldn't comment directly. Bolger spokesman Ari Adler says he was aware of talk over the years about a Schmidt run for mayor, but did not know the specifics behind the text. Ranking five people. Because Schmidt held a first ward seat on the city commission for 16 years before he was elected to the House. Today, Schmidt spokesman John Truscott said the representative doesn't know where that comment came from and that a mayoral run would make no sense. Assuming he's re-elected to the House in the fall, Schmidt would have to step down before the end of his term if he won the part-time job as mayor in three years. But consider this, add Schmidt's 16 years on the commission with another four as mayor, and Schmidt would increase the small city pension collected by elected officials for jobs sources say he's always wanted. Of course, he'd need to win first, and that could be expensive. Mayor George Hartwell, who says he hasn't decided whether he'll seek re-election in 2015, figures candidates in a contested mayor's race could spend upwards of $150,000 each, making fundraising a big challenge. And that's where the two political parties come into play. While the mayor's race is nonpartisan, it helps to have friends who can raise a lot of money outside the city. As for a Schmidt candidacy for mayor, Hartwell says his former commission colleagues shouldn't bother, telling me, quote, he doesn't have a prayer after the shenanigans.